living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want. And I pray, all I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive in that better day I could walk, see, hear, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need are some better days Yeah, all I need are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray I believe in the better yeah. days I'm kinda stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard, or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also wanna teach you one Day one at work and everything is so good. So far, so good. We are actually marking. Supposed to be making holes here. We've already made some uh, holes to fix the lights in a uh, future time, very soon. Huh? So this is what we are doing today. Actually, we started by... Uh, this is one of the bedrooms. Eh? When this house is done, our apartment, I'll be giving you a tour. My name is Chef Matiko. Welcome to my YouTube channel if you are new here. And uh, please subscribe to support our Chef Matiko or be part of our YouTube family. For my returning viewers, thank you so much for always coming back to support me. I'm glad and grateful. So we are installing electricity in this uh, apartment. It was a local or a store. See? Listo, sí. No hay más. No, listo. Por aquí Eso... se una niña que había una. Un tubo de... Una luz. Eso sí, eso sacaremos luego. No. Pero si te acuerdas dónde está. No, eso ya, como está pintado, vamos a meter la guía. No tenemos otra opción. Yo tengo un video. ¿Sí? Ya. Ya no lo muestro. No sé, no, no, pero ese como está pintado no pasa nada porque vamos vamos a no pero para cuando lo vayan a hacer Míralo. ese es de ahí o oh, es de aquí no es de acá no es de aquí espera espera no ese es de ahí ¿No? Míralo. Mira esta línea. Esta de aquí. Viene, ah, bueno, viene sí. aquí derecho, ¿no? Sí. Mira, aquí estaba una luz. Sí. Esta que está aquí. Está más o menos aquí. Vale. Vale, va que lo tengas. Vale, vale perfecto. Perfecto. Si sí, igual me preguntas si lo necesito. Sí, pero hoy vamos a estar ahí. Vale, vale. Sí.
So I'm gonna fix I'm gonna fix this like I did there. So I'm gonna try to put my camera right like this so that we get to see what I'm doing today. I just realized that this one does not have a screw right here. Can you see that? So I won't put that one. Brother, I'm gonna put the same. Right. So I'm gonna put this one because this one is okay. Okay, right, this is what I. I normally do is my day one at work and I'm trying to hold my camera Make sure that uh, this one is straight, yeah, like that. The reason that I, as to why I don't make a big hole here, this should not go inside. So, Here you have a commute for the lights and here you have for the for the sockets so i've already fixed this i'm holding my camera using my mouth so let's go to the next thing
have to take you know we work with the uh, constructors the people who construct the masons and the staff so we are heading to one of uh, the areas that we have uh, the job so we are actually at Madrid uh, inside Madrid and uh, so far so good things are okay in Madrid you have to follow rules like uh, driving rules no corner cornering as they say in my village so you have to follow the rules when it's red you stop when it's uh, green you continue yeah I don't know if that applies to your countries or where you are or there is anyway that is not the topic of the day so let us go and uh, continue working because it's my first day at work so far so good things are okay and um, I feel like yes I feel like no but we have to work all in all not all you know sometimes when you have a family and now that in Europe YouTube it's in Madrid YouTube is kind of hard so you, I cannot like depend on it like fully I will I will suffer yeah so I have to work to make the ends meet and when I, I, I have vacation that's when I uh, concentrate like on YouTube but if YouTube could work for me even uh, in Madrid I could like it, it could be okay it could be easy to make money from my hustle and from YouTube but since I'm here I have to work to, to you know YouTube is like my side hustle my side hustle because I have two families and and I have to put bread on the table you know and as a man or you know in here in uh, where i am man we help man woman have to work you cannot surviving with one salary is very very hard you cannot actually survive you can suffer yeah if you have uh, maybe a family maybe a family with a kid and you, you pay rent and the food with one salary you won't even get to a month so that's why I'm working and also apart from that I love to, to to work to you know so let us go and see how things are this is my first day at work and uh, so far so good Madrid is uh, is okay things are okay shining the Sun is now out so I, I love it we love it here yeah Madrid is a beautiful city I can recommend you 100 percent to come and visit this area because it's a very nice city yeah for those people who have been here they can confirm that so let us go and see how things are and we see how um, things are going so you can tell that uh, this country has really advanced when it comes to a transport system the roads are nice the city is clean whatever you see there there are leaves because it's winter when it's winter uh, they shed they shed yeah so I'll be giving you more tour as uh, I continue with my first day at work so that you get to see like what is really going on with your Matico's life this is how we do it and uh, this is what I do here I install we install electricity yeah all around Madrid all around Madrid and we can go uh, in outskirts of Madrid of course sometimes depending with uh, you know our client but mostly we are found in Madrid all within Madrid in Europe Spain yeah if you have a good deal we can come wherever you are you know yeah depends with the, the agreement so we keep on moving um, we keep on I think electricity right here it's very is more advanced than uh, electricity in my village I don't like to compare because this is like uh, this country is moving very fast and that's why I want to give the best uh, to my mom's house those people who have been watching we are constructing look at the clouds blue the skies are blue very beautiful look at that so let us keep moving and we see how uh, the day is. No sube la calefacción ni para No sube. Porque hace mucho frío. 
So we are out. We are from uh, checking uh, a job right here. And uh, you can see this place is quiet. Actually, very quiet. People are working. You might say that uh, uh, it's lonely life, but uh, but uh, a lot of people are working. You know, here everybody's busy with uh, his or her own life. That I'm turning the camera because I can see the sun is not reflecting very well. So let me just show you how uh, <laughs> people are not in the street like. It's like a lonely life, I don't know if they are very busy, but you can tell, nobody, absolutely nobody. Oh, that big area is there. can tell that this place uh, people are busy or lonely because they are not in the street because look at this street eh? zero people like absolutely nobody at least I can see one person there and he's over 65 years so that tells you that uh, people are working and uh, because it's a weekday um, a lot of people are not like idling, no idling around, yeah, not unless it's like a certain center close to, you know, close to the city, close to, I don't know, I don't know how to put it, but you can see for yourself that nobody, but these are the places where people live, but of course we have places that have a lot of apartments and uh, restaurants, so you, at the center you can find people. So this is how actually the bus station uh, look like. You see that? This one over here. There is a shade there. Oh, this one. This one. This one. So that is uh, how the bus station looks like here. And of course, um, um, there is a shade. When it comes to rain or strong sunlight, you are you are you are catered. You are you are sorted. Yes, so we continue walking. I'm going to give you a short tour of uh, my day one at work. Not a short tour, my sh a short experience of my day one at work. You've seen how things are, you've seen how we do it right here. So in Spain we have like uh, 230 uh, uh, voltage of one phase. If we three phase, we have uh, 400 all right voltage 380 400 so for those people who understand electricity really know what i mean so i started working when uh, actually for those people who have been asking are you a chef or what do you do yes i'm a professional chef because i did i have a career in uh, hospitality management that is uh, then i did more of a uh, Chefy Chefy, so I'm a professional chef. And uh, but when I arrived to Spain, you know, life in Europe is not <laughs> is not how you, you people some, some people think, especially in Spain. Eh? Uh, you have to know how to speak uh, in Spanish for you at least to get a job, even basic Spanish. So so when I came to Spain, I had uh, like. I, I, I never knew how to communicate in Spanish, even the basic communication. So we are from that area. This, we call them chalet. Chalet, I think they are mas mansions in, uh, in English. Then apartment in, uh, in Spanish means apartamento in Spanish. So I was telling you a story. Yeah, I was telling you a story that uh, why how i found myself in this field of work so we could like um only we could i could only i was applying for jobs and they were requesting a driving license and also um you know spanish and english so i knew english i never had a driving license remember this was two years ago Years ago, 22 years ago, yes, that is when I was 
when I started working. So they required a driving license. When you have a driving, dri getting a driving license here is it's not a joke. It's not a joke. And you know here there's no shortcut like you pay, back door. You have to know how to drive so that you get a driving license. So remember I was new here. I could not communicate. I could not, I never had a driving license. What I had is only English. Yeah. So I could never like join my my field of work so there is a good friend of mine actually for those people who follow me they know the friends of mine that came with me to Kenya uh, last year in on August August they are called Carlos and Susana so Carlos and Susana gave me a job like a, for pocket money you know uh, to take care of uh, Diego and Pablo I used to take them from uh, home to school then pick them from school to home that is what I used to do and stay with them until their parents come from work that's what I used to do so as I was studying Spanish so I joined school because that is was the only way to get a job so I joined school to study Spanish so I was studying Spanish like for three months then I got the basics then of course I was I was every day is a learning until now I'm learning how to speak in Spanish. So I knew my basics in three months. Then of course I was I'm talking to uh, with Laura at, at in the house in Spanish. So that's how I got to know Spanish. And then I enrolled in my uh, driving classes. So let me tell you a short story of to get a license right here in Spain. Eh? You have to enroll in class, but the good thing is that you can enroll in you can enroll in English or in Spanish. In English, in, in English is more expensive because people here speak in Spanish, so English is hot cake, so it's very expensive. So you enroll uh, for theory classes, then uh, whenever you are ready, you register for an exam. So the exam I remember was out of 30 and I was so nervous I was like but I studied a lot I used to study you think that I'm going to get a degree and it's just a driving because people here even people from Spain here repeat exams not that they are stupid or they don't understand because it's tricky so exam is out of 30 you have to get at least 27 so you have to be very sure of when you're going to the exam you have to study a lot you know my wife used to tell me getting a license in, the, in spain is not a joke you have to study and me i say ah, studying you know uh, just studying you know just studying so but when i i realized that i cannot get like a job i cannot without a driving license it's a plus one if you have english and a driving license so every jo job i was um, uh, applying they required like driving license so I got in there, I was studying like theory a lot like in the university, yeah, a lot. I think that is the time that I studied a lot than even when I was doing my my certificates, my, my education, my high school education, my university education. So I studied like crazy. So within like uh, two two months like studying every day three months three months after studying 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 so we have a comprehensive of two weeks sorry somebody's calling me it's my mom totally on video call just a minute mama shikamo umeshindaje mama Nilikuona tengeneza video hapa, wacha nioneshe watu That is my mom <laughs> Over there <laughs> Salimia watu mom <laughs> Hello <laughs> uh, My mom just called me Ah ya mama, niambi Look at these buildings, these ones here Like uh, we are Close to the center of Madrid very close the buildings are like uh, the center wow 
Can I say lonely life or a busy life? Because maybe people are working like me. So yesterday I never finished the video because um, actually it's because there was no light. So I couldn't like finish the video, you know. And because of that, why not? We can we can redo. So here I have uh, some uh, uh, rubbish. Can see like my name, Simon or Simon. In Spanish is Simon or Simon. After uh, maybe we don't leave uh, a house of a client uh, with our materials like dirty material, the leftovers. I can say because once we finish working. We we clean our 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 dirt, you know. Yeah, you know in Madrid, uh, the the streets are named according to uh, no in Spain. Do you see that one? If I meet uh, one here, I'll, I'll just show you. So I think I'll give you a short tour. That way or this way? Oh, it's better we go this way because I'm I'm looking for a place to throw this. We have also this. This is when maybe you are. Uh, are walking you can throw maybe if you are eating something you can see you can throw something there and this is for cigarettes for those people who smoke right there <laughs> yeah you are cut out for you don't you can see the streets are the streets are clean eh? so which means you are not supposed to throw rubbish you should be yeah obedient and responsible yes that's why you see all the streets are clean so this is uh uh, Madrid my I can't say my day one to working <laughs> because I never honestly I never finished uh, a day one like I never finished it completely because of uh, one or two three things you know when you are working uh, I cannot just keep on filming you know if yes if you understand you understand and there is a place here I can go eh? so I cannot I cannot just like uh, a film while I'm working all over like one hour 30 minutes filming it will bring some questions to your boss or to my boss or to your boss you know all in all so that's why I have done like short 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 until I'm done so I was telling you a story why or the reason as to why I'm uh, an electrician and but my mom called so I couldn't finish the video how I found my, some people know some people don't so for those people who are joining my channel like now today so let me just go and uh, sit there and tell you a small story look at this no dogs no dogs all right you know in Spain uh, the dogs or the pets they enter in malls supermarkets no but malls yes yeah, you can go and do shopping with your dog or with your pet with your cat some people even walk with cats uh, in the street <laughs> of which is very good yeah so i think this is a place uh, you can come sit and relax but you can tell there's no people people are working people are very busy hmm? building the economy of the country <laughs> no idlers you know and see all these houses they belong to people but no idlers and I, i've realized there's no uh, a central place to to keep the dirt because you can see everybody has its own place to keep the dirt not like uh, in our area in our area uh, there is that central place to keep the dirt so uh, i was telling your story uh, i'm here with my rubbish walking around with it uh, i think it's better even I, I do this story while walking so that at least I show you one two three things so um, um, let me just start because I cannot it's, it has passed like a lot of days yes since I did um, since my mom called eh? so I'll just want to make it short to avoid repetition and uh, you know so the reason as to why I um, I am an electrician is because when I was uh, when I was applying for jobs they needed Spanish and driving license which I, I never even understood and I never had a driving license here in Spain 
So I had to go to class, then uh, to start. Uh, uh, to study a little bit of Spanish. The basic, the basic one. Uh, yeah, the basic Spanish. And then I, and then I, I get the job. So I, I had, my father-in-law had promised me to, to, to give me a job once I, I understand the basic because he, he doesn't speak in uh, English. He communicates in Spanish. So I had to like learn Spanish a little bit. So once I understood, I started working as uh, his assistant. Then I got my training. Then now I'm a qualified uh, electricista, as we call it here. So that's how I'm working uh, as an electrician and I'm not a chef, but I'm a qualified a chef because I did hospitality management so that is what and that is how I found myself in this field so let us keep on moving let us keep on uh, doing uh, this video and we see how the end goes so we just came to this street eh? the center of Madrid it's called uh, Salitre can you see this right here I'm gonna give you a short tour because we are heading down so that you get to see what's uh, is happening at the center of Madrid not really center center but let me help them So they're putting this because when they want they will be bringing a container where they will be putting this and that because we are doing a renovation actually here right here so they are putting this when uh, they bring the container they get a place to park so let us <laughs> let us go down to the streets a container like this one it's uh obligatorio or it's a must if you are doing a renovation yeah for the, for the company you have to put that for you to keep the dirt so they are taking the space and actually um, here you have to pay for the parking when you see a green or blue line means that you have to pay for the parking uh, in Madrid so that's why if I see a machine I'll just show you and of course right now if you have old cars old cars they don't like uh, enter in Madrid not unless not unless you leave you live like for example let me show you a uh, old car for pollution just a rule is a rule for uh, to avoid uh, uh, pollution you know by cars so let me say a, a car like this yellow car it it's here because uh, the owner have a home here if not you cannot enter you will be fined yes they are called uh, Sona Rojas so this is a litre. every every street is named by a, a name you see that that name over there that blue thing eh? so the whole of these streets upwards to downwards is called salitre right there so for a Sí. No. Entonces vas allí a la izquierda, ahí le tienes. Sí. Tenemos que andar mucho. Vale, vamos. Bueno. Sí, pero es igual. Y vamos así. Por ahí a la izquierda, lo tienes ahí. Izquierda. Porque así vamos y luego bajamos. So this is how things look like here in uh, Salitre. Yeah, it's uh, at the center. And all this place is called uh, Lavapiés. 
is one of the areas that extranjeros or <laughs> so all these streets, I, I was telling you all these streets like uh, Lava Pies is where there are a lot of extranjeros. Extranjeros is a Spanish, uh, it's in Spanish means the people who are not like uh, from Spain. Uh -huh. Let me just find an English word for that, extranjeros. I cannot, immigrants. Yeah, that is the correct English word. So for the parking, I was showing you. So these are the machines for the parking, right here, like this, this one. So you have to pay for the parking, right here. You pay so that you park in this uh, uh, blue or uh, green lanes. It's a must. If not, you pay a fine of. Uh, I don't know if it's. Uh, uh, 200 euros that is uh, close to 200 US dollars because I understand a euro is uh, much is, uh, it's bigger I can say than a dollar so more or less 20, uh, 200 US dollars or 200 euros in Kenya shillings that would be 30,000 Kenya shillings so um, but if you pay within a month, you pay a half of that. Yes, so we keep on cruising, so that you see. Remember, I'm still doing a video, a uh, day one video. <laughs> and uh, yes, I do it short shots, but it's not really day one like day one, because I've been working for some days now. But because I'm doing short, short, short videos, I, uh, I combine them, but that is the title of my day one at work so I'm giving you a short tour so that you get to see how things are and I'm explaining bit by bit what I know because what I don't know I, I, I can't say it because if I don't have information or if I don't know anything wow look at this mod Ninja Kawasaki yeah so you can see other places in Madrid are are very clean and others are wanting like where you where I'm where I'm from like the area that you've seen is not like uh, very very clean eh? but well, look the cells of us and stuff it's not very very clean but you know it's clean in general Madrid is clean compared to the cities that have been eh? Yes, but if you see a dirty place, um, <laughs> <¿Adónde>? <laughs> Is the persona? Oh, the perro. Madre mía de mi vida. Sí. The rest of the sauna is so you can see. So some places are the way you see them, and some places, yeah, it's like um, it's one of the places that I don't know how to put it, but it's at the center center, and I think it's cheaper uh, compared to other cent places at the center of Madrid. ¿Cuánto pagará gente aquí para alquilar un piso? A lo mejor. Ni idea. Pero es mucho. A lo mejor lo comparten. Lo comparten. Sí. So I'm asking my father in law how much more or less people pay here for rent. He's telling me because it's at the center is a, a lot and the people I think they share. They share like with the rooms. Yes, look at this door. La Escuela de Teatro. At this, wow. A very old door. Tells you it has a lot of years there. So when it actually when it when it uh, 
when it comes to rent here in Madrid, if you cannot afford like um, the rent, uh, you, you share, you share the costs with the people. Maybe. Para allá. Bueno, pues creo que. So we are getting lost. We are about to get lost here in Madrid. So yes, this is uh, how things are. So we are coming at the center se uh, uh, populated area because you can now see people up and down the busy. You know, it's other allow, eh? Para allá. No? Es más allá. Como, está claro que siempre nos equivocamos. Como, como te digo yo, es más allá. So we keep on moving guys. Sí. I hope you are enjoying the video. Give it a like. Sí, sí. Más allá. Sí, es como. <laughs> Siempre pedimos cuando venimos para ir bien. Mira, caca de perro adelante. Por coche. Amparo. Amparo. So, guys, comment down below. Tell me what you think about Madrid. Like uh, this area. It's called Dava Pies. What do you think about this place? What do you think about the, the streets? What do you think about the houses? What do you think about how things are here? Yeah, just let me know and we we'll see how it goes. Aquí está lleno. Nadie recoge. We tiene que tener cuidado that the street is full of uh, dogs poop. You know they don't collect. These people who live here, they don't collect the poop. They don't collect the poop. poop. So the street is. We have to have a lot of care. So we keep on moving. It's a rule when a uh, dog makes poop, you have to collect here. So you can see in these streets, like people don't collect. Shame on them. All right, we keep on moving, guys, because it's a beautiful, wonderful day. Have sun today. Have sun. Yeah. So we are uh, still uh, uh, cruising. Giving me a short tour in uh, Madrid, Spain. Podemos cruzar si queremos, y luego vamos a andando adelante. Más allá, más adelante. Sí. ¿Qué? Otra vez hemos metido la gamba. No, porque es, es a, la dere, a la derecha cuando bajas, a la izquierda cuando bajas. El próximo día, donde nuestra cabeza nos lleve, tiene que ser al revés. Si nos lleva para la derecha, se lo no, 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 para la izquierda. Para la izquierda. We just got lost. So, these are the bikes. If you need a transport, like, uh, just come pay, put a card, and you take a ride to where you want. To where you want, like, they are all over Madrid. 
like all of us so we find that uh, it's easy for transport yeah madrid has one of the best transport system that one i can't lie public transport system i'm not talking about private in public madrid has uh, one of the best because we have the buses we have uh, the trains we also have uh, uh, you've seen the the, the bikes so this is not great guys the most great next okay So our van is over there in that street. So we have to wait. Because when it's uh, you have to close when it's time to close the road, as you can see, there is red. The lugar is a torcha también. Colegio Salesiano. A torcha. Vamos. school so yeah guys it's a short tour about uh, Madrid Spain and uh, this actually is going to mark our day one and I really thank you so much for watching this video until the end please remember to subscribe to support Chef Machico share the video and like uh, the video so see you in our next episode I'm going to sign out um, keep on uh, supporting me you can reach me uh, via my email always it's on my about or my instagram my chef and we'll see how things go alright so thank you so much see you in our next episode I'm gonna sign out bye bye adios <laughs>